Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews of Tech Channel, and I was very excited a couple of days ago when I got in the mail my new Leap Motion Controller. I did a video about this a few months ago when I pre-ordered mine, and I really thought it could be revolutionary in how it's going to change how you interface with your computer, your phone, your tablets. And I still think that could be the case. I only wish I could see it firsthand. I can't get this to work. I spent two days trying to get this to work. Um, this is a Windows 7 laptop, and it was had all the updates and so forth that I thought that it needed, but apparently not. There were lots of downloads involved of this and that, and optional Microsoft packs for this and that. And I get errors when I try to start it up. I plug it in, I don't get any errors, but when I try to open the application where I could actually use the software interface to access it, it's errors. I'll show you that in a second. So I went online to look and already there was a budding forum of people having the very same problem, mostly people with Windows 7 computers and uh, similar errors, some a little different, but a lot of suggestions on how to fix it, but nothing that's worked. I've downloaded different things, uninstalled, reinstalled, thing just sits here and blinks a little red light at me and that's all I get out of it. Now I hope most people are having better luck than me with this and I think that's the case because I've seen a number of reviews online where people they may not have the best things to say about it, but at least they got it to work, and then they could make their comments based on seeing it actually in action. But when I went back to the forum today, the one I went to two days ago to see about people having problems and suggestions to fix it, it went from a couple pages up to over 20 pages of people with have uh, complaining about their problems and other people suggesting try this, try that. So it's kind of a mess, I think. And I did see that the day after I got it, Leap Motion released a software update, and I thought, oh, okay, they saw all these people having problems, so they fixed it. But still not yet. Anyway, let me show you what you get in the box with it. I'll show you what the software kind of looks like and then the error that I get stuck at. And um, maybe somebody who's made it past that point out there will be able to put a comment down below and let me know how I can get past it and actually get this to work on my laptop. So they give you a very nice box. I was impressed. It reminded me of uh, Apple stuff. It comes packed in a very substantial nice box and inside very brief welcome card. Then inside of that was the controller, and underneath of that, there's a very tiny, tiny, tiny print, a little instruction page that really isn't that useful, I found, and they give you two cables, a shorter one that I think is like two feet long and a longer one at about five feet, to plug into the USB port of your computer, and I guess maybe it just had to be this way, but I, I don't like it when it is, the... Um, piece that plugs into the controller is a proprietary piece. It's not a standard USB, but maybe they had to do that for data transfer purposes or something. And this is the device itself. Of course, there's this little red eye of a light in there that blinks and laughs at me as I try to get it to work. The only place to plug things in is, again, that proprietary connection on the one side there. And it does say leap motion here. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be. Um, and I think it would be very nice if it would only work. So briefly, I did uh, download the software from the website, like the opening little welcome note said. Installed that, plugged in the device, and there were all of these optional Microsoft upgrades that were needed. So I went and downloaded them, restarted, and then it turned out there were more. Downloaded, restarted. It sort of reminded me of installing Nero, the uh, CD DVD burning software, where it has all these extra Microsoft packs, some of which you've never heard of before, but it needs them to run, and you wonder why it can't just run with what naturally comes with Windows, but you do get software installed here for Leap Motion. And I've got it plugged in right now. I don't know if you can see the little HAL eye looking at me saying, I'm sorry Dave, I can't do that. And I'm going to go to Airspace, which is the place where you go to get the apps. And it does come up, and I actually downloaded um, one of the apps. It's uh, Cut the Rope. The, that game, a version of that that uh, you can play using just your hands here. Ah, here we go. Orientation.exe has stopped working, and if I look for the problem details, it's the BEX and Orientation.exe and a stack hash and and so that's the information, and I've searched for those particular numbers and different things online, but again, nobody's offered a solution that actually works. Once it's gotten to this point, you can't do anything more with it. You just gotta close it all out. Now, I did go and look in a Device Manager to see how it was being detected. 
And it took a little while to find it because it wasn't where I expected it to be and maybe that's part of the problem. <clears throat> it actually shows up under imaging devices as a leap developers kit and let's say I go to update it. It's going to tell me Windows has determined the best driver software is already installed for a USB video device. So you, as you can see, it doesn't show up under human interface devices where I thought it might go or as a kind of mouse, it's not there either. Okay, just went into the control panel for the Leap Motion controller and now I'm getting the message that there's another update available which fix some startup issues with Leap Motion orientation. Hmm, this could be promising, but I've gone down this path before and been disappointed. Okay, that update installed, and it's told me this before, smudge detected, which, yeah, probably there are smudges. Oh, yeah, actually, it's covered with smudges. But um, it's talking to the device, so we've got that communication going on. But smudge or not, that shouldn't be giving me that error. Let me try to go back and start it up. Okay, I guess it lost my account information. I'll have to re-enter that. So I logged in, but now it seems to need to re-download the apps. So it's sort of starting over from scratch. This is the first time this has happened, so I'm getting to be more hopeful. Well, when Cut the Rope did its um, reinstallation, it came up mentioning it needed these dependencies, which I've gotten before. So I guess it lost track of them. I'll have to download these again, and then I'll report back and see. Okay, I finished downloading and installing them. Again, this is the tenth thing I've installed, I think, in attempts to get this to work. But if it works, it'll all be worthwhile. Now, that's all it says. doesn't tell you what else to do, whether you got to plug and unplug the device. But we'll just come back here and let's see. I'll be so happy if this works now. Uh-oh, that's further than it's made it before. Well, I didn't go through the training or anything. I seem to have jumped ahead, but I can see that it's working even with it over here on the side. I can get the cursor to move. Works either hand, of course. I don't know how to grab the item to select it. Squeeze, oh, there we go. Okay, maybe now I can actually go through the orientation. Oh, no, again. I thought maybe if I avoid the orientation and just try something else, I can get that to work. Let's see. All right, yeah, I'm back in control here. I've got my hand over the controller. I don't even know what this game is. Here's another app to try. Am I supposed to poke him in the eyeball? Do I get points for that? Oh, I see each of the yellow dots, the yellow circles represents my finger with the solid yellow dot is supposed to be my index finger. Okay. Coming out of the game, I actually found something interesting that I've been looking for to see where the, um, where the area is over the controller that actually does uh, activate it and have effect. So it's kind of interesting. I thought I'd show you here. If I put one hand over it, I get a representation of my hand. There's my thumb I'm wiggling. Finger, 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 finger. I can put it, um, looks to be a few inches in front of the controller, quite a bit more distance behind, about four or five inches to the left, four or so inches to the right. Now I'm going to put my other hand up here, and it found it. Thumb fingers. A lot of potential here, but it still looks like they need some software development. Well, I actually had some success, much to my surprise and to my pleasure. So um, I'm going to keep working on this. Uh, they'll work the bugs out of it. I did see on the forums people were saying, ah, oh, piece of junk, going to send it back, you know, the, the epic fail. I don't think that's the case. I don't think they did as good a job as they could have, but if you don't have an unlimited budget and you don't have 
several years to have people beta test it and to try out all the different combinations of computers and programs that you might encounter. Stuff happens, so if you want to try stuff that's brand new, you just got to deal with it. Though it was frustrating that I wasn't getting any answers, and still I can't go through the orientation to learn how I'm supposed to really be using this, but at least it works and there's a few cool things I can try out. I can now go back into the, the Airspace store, get some of the other apps, and then see how they work as well. If you didn't pull the trigger and order one of these in advance, you might want to wait a month or so until they um, those seemingly almost daily updates that they're releasing kind of slows down some and they have it into a stable version that's working for most people. Now I do have a Windows 8 computer that I can get access to so I think I'm going to try it there and um, I'm thinking that maybe they thought uh, most people who ordered this would already be using Windows 8 by now. Little did they know and little did Microsoft know how history was going to go on that subject. So I will report back after getting it on Windows 8 and maybe I can do some really cool stuff there. One thing I did want to tell you though, um, this is about a three-year-old laptop. It was fairly high-end when I bought it, though it's certainly out of date now. But the fan on this is going at 100%. It has been ever since I got the apps running. It's just obviously running at a very high percent. I brought up Task Manager and yeah, it was showing this Lotus app is using like 70% of the CPU. There is a dedicated graphics chip in this, but it's out of date as well. So that's also something to consider is how well it's going to work may also be based on how strong the hardware you have is. And in terms of in the future, this being useful with phones and tablets that don't have quite the horsepower of even a laptop right now, it may take a little longer for that integration to happen. But they're close to being ready on PC. Hopefully some more developers will work on some more apps for this and get it so you can use it more of a daily function. Get it so it works well. Get it so you, I think the point they'll have to reach is it'll have to be that your mouse is sitting here and this is sitting here and you have your choice of using either and you, you're going to use what's easiest and most convenient and that at least in some of the applications instead of just grabbing for that mouse you're going to say oh I'll just use Elite Motion. So when that day comes then they'll really start having some success. Let me go try it out on Windows 8. Hopefully report back with some good results on that for you real soon.